Hi everybody. So I haven't done an update since I said I was going to start doing them all the time again and it hasn't happened. I put up the couple of videos and then I've been gone again. Uh, honestly, forgetting to film. Poor excuse, but that's what it's been. I just forgetting to film. I'm going to try and get back into it and you'll probably see something um, sometime next week. I'm thinking about doing every Tuesday there being a new episode uh, of The Balancing Act. Now don't, I can't promise anything, but if you see an episode up Tuesday, excuse me, if you see an episode up Tuesday, um, you'll probably start to see them more because I'm kind of, I only have like six weeks left in my pregnancy, like we're getting there. We're at the end point. It's getting really close. The baby's head is down, and it's been an amazing journey. I've, besides my first three months of nausea and being sick, um, I've felt phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. I've felt great. I, my pregnancy weight gain has been six pounds all told. And technically not even, because as I said, I lost weight, and then I gained six back. Um, not losing weight purposely, it was because of throwing up consistently all the time. I couldn't even keep, like, an apple down. It was any food. Um, I found that the only thing in my pregnancy I've been having trouble with is I'm a lot more pickier. I've always been a picky eater, and now I'm even worse. And it just continues to get worse. So, um... I'm hoping that after the baby comes, I'll kind of shift back to being my normal picky eater self instead of this extreme one that I've become. Um, but besides that, I haven't had, knock on wood, I'll say that before I say any of this, I haven't had any backache, uh, no swelling, nothing, like nothing that I've been warned about. All these things they tell you in pregnancy, generally, they scare you and all these things and it's like I haven't experienced any of them I don't know what you're talking about in my pregnancy because some women do there are girls that are pregnant the same far along as I am and they're going through hell right now <laughs> and I haven't I haven't been there so I'm really kind of happy and feel really great that it's gone so well for me because it seems to be a rarity that it does I guess um but I was at my baby doctor last week, and the baby's head is down. He's about five pounds, she said, so he'll be average weight when he's born. He won't be too small or too big. He'll be just average baby weight. She is, like, estimates anyway. All she can do is estimate, of course. I mean, he could be four and a half pounds, and she says he's five pounds. She just says about five pounds. So as long as I'm around that mark, then we're pretty well good to go with the normal mark around this point, generally. Um, I feel really good. My sleep has actually gotten better as my pregnancy's gone along, as weird as that sounds, because most people, I see all these Facebook updates at like 2 in the morning of pregnant friends, and they're like, I haven't slept in weeks, and I'm like, I'm up late but I'll still sleep for 10 hours when I go to bed and I in like a deep sleep. I'm not using the bathroom a whole lot. Like I'm not running, 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 having to pee all the time. To be honest, the only way that I even feel like I'm pregnant is my belly, obviously, and his movement. Besides that, if I didn't have that, <laughs> I feel totally normal. Um, and I'm not trying, but I do. I'm just, I'm saying this because there are girls out there. Obviously, I'm not the only one who's had pretty easygoing, general, pretty easygoing pregnancy. I feel like I'm very lucky. And I keep saying that and I keep being very thankful because, as I said, the girls that I know that are pregnant as far as long as I am, some of them are going through hell right now. And like, some are like, I haven't slept in six weeks because of my stomach, and I haven't done this, and I can't, I throw up all the time. Like, I throw up all the time the first three months, but then once that passed, there was really no issues. Uh, and hopefully it will continue that there will be no major ones that are out of normal, because 
she told me that not every pregnant woman swells. I don't have to. It's not a requirement. There's a lot of people who say you have to. But she said, um, my baby doctor said, she's saying, you don't have to at all. If you go to the end and have them and you've never had any swelling, that's totally normal, too. That's really good. Um, she takes an account that the healthy lifestyle that I did take up before I got pregnant probably did help me in a way. Um, not that you have to be, like, an extreme. I, I mean, I've had, I eat what I want, but she said it really does help that I kind of had a baseline. I never gave up my workouts after I got pregnant. Um, I didn't do as hardcore things. Like, I wouldn't go for a jog. I haven't gone for a jog. But I go for a 45-minute walk every day. I do prenatal yoga two, three times a week, which is amazing. I don't know if anybody else has done it, but, oh, my Lord, it's just, I love yoga anyway, but I find it really helps. I don't have a lot of pain as far as, like, my muscles. I get odd leg cramps, but it's really, I just find it really helps you feel, like, stretched. Um... But besides that, I've never given up any of those things. I mean, I eat more generally, but nothing out of, like, I have yogurt more and stuff like that. Like, I, when you're eating, when you're pregnant, it doesn't mean that you have to go and be like, well, I'm eating for two, so I'm going to eat two buckets of chicken. Unless you're craving it and you want to and go ahead. <laughs> but... I haven't really, I eat what I crave and I eat what I want, but it hasn't really changed as far as my eating. Like, I wake up and I have cereal and yogurt and a banana. Like, I still eat healthy probably 80% of the time, like I did before. And when I have a craving, I have it. Like, I don't, I mean, a pregnancy craving, not a I want fast food sort of, I mean, when I'm really, really want an odd craving, which happens, I do have it. But anyway, I'm probably going to post a new episode on Tuesday. I'm going to start filming today, actually. It won't be for a full week, but it'll be for five days that it'll be filmed generally. Because, I mean, I need to get back into filming because not with weight loss right now, but just to keep you guys updated, because I get inboxes of people who want, who miss the updates, and it's kind of funny, I never thought anybody would, but they do. Um, but I'm going to go, because this video is getting a little long. Uh, I, You'll see me on Tuesday with a new uh, video up, and I hope that everybody has a great weekend. Enjoy yourselves. I'll be keeping you updated. So, see you.